Let me invite Robert Farber and um, Sandy Linter for our talk. I see that we have a few already there. Sandy, invite. And then Robert, inviting. Hi, Robert. Hello, hey. Hi, Sandy, Hi. hey, Robert. Very Hello. nice to to have you together. So Robert, you're in France, right? And Sandy, you're in New York. I, I am. I left my dinner and everything else because I wanted to, of course, this was important to me. It brings back so many memories. Well, Not as many we have to talk about your but... memories. I want to talk about your memories of Gia. Well, yeah, we're here to you have more memories, but celebrate. I'd be happy to share. Yeah, we're here to celebrate Gia and uh, and thank you, Robert. Thank you, uh, Sandy, for being here. Uh, as uh, as you know, we're going to speak about a few of your images, Robert, that are, you know, we uncovered recently, which we thought would be amazing to speak about. Um, and uh, as an introduction, if you have any questions about those images, they're available for sale exclusively at the Selex Gallery. You can contact us at contact at the Selex Gallery. Uh, dot com. So um, again, don't Sandy, <laughs> don't contact me. Contact Marie. Call I me. only have memories. <laughs> Marie has the photos. So thank you so much for joining. So uh, without further ado, obviously, uh, Sandy, you are the expert and you've, you've known Gia so well that uh, we are very honored to have you uh, on the call speaking with Robert. Well, it's an honor for me to meet you, Mr. Robert Barber. I, what do you mean? You met me before. I know, but only briefly. And now I'm meeting you through your work. You did the amazing photograph of Gia in church. And it was for <laughs> Bloomingdale's. She wasn't paying. Time. She wasn't praying. She was getting paid. I didn't say she was praying. I said amazing photo of Gia in church. But. I want to know how she was that day because I worked with her, but only a few times. Mainly I hung out with her. So I want to know, did she show up on time? Well, go ahead. Continue. Did she want to leave early? Continue. As, as model Carol all told me she always did because model Carol all used to fill in for her after she left. So it was a thing that she had. She wanted to leave early. There was a certain time she had to leave. Did that happen? Um, well, let me tell you, the thing is, what's interesting about myself and working with Gia is I worked with her over a good period of time for a number of clients. The thing is, when I first worked with her in the beginning of her career, and of course, earlier on in my career, I didn't have the gray. I didn't even have a, well, anyway, um, it, it, it was like, she was, uh, she was a, a different personality all the way through and, and different clients and everything else. What was really special is early on when I started working with Gia, a lot of things were with Bloomingdale's and Bloomingdale's at the time was very editorial, very slick, more like a European fashion magazine. They had Guy Bourdon doing their lingerie catalog, and I was doing a lot of their advertising. But in the beginning, when I first worked with her, I did it when I just did a few things for them. Then later on, I wound up in one period of time for a year, them giving me exclusively all the advertising work. And, and then I worked with her again later on. And then I worked with her later on into the 80s, for like Saks Fifth Avenue and other clients, but it was the Bloomingdale's that was really good to create a freedom. So I experienced her with different attitudes and feeling different creative things. So when, I, when the client wanted me to do, um, and they introduced me in the very beginning for the first time to work with Gia, and that was because she was really just getting started and everything else. And then she started with her more of a reputation of being very sexy and everything else. And I saw that. So for example, like the one of the bathing suits and the bathing in the lifeguard stand and different things. 
I was working with her. And then the next situation was when they wanted somebody that was more pensive or more, you know, I said, no, Gia. Gia, I'm going to get something else out of her. So you chose Gia, not Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's chose Gia originally to introduce me to her. Uh huh. But then I chose Gia for specific situations, and I wanted to use her in a juxtaposition of other things to get something else out of her personality than I can. And that's why I was able to really find Gia, not just sexy, but a good person. A, uh, sincere, and you could see it in Gia with the church in the pews. Yes, and and you could see, and that's and somebody had asked on Instagram, they had asked what I've done with as far as um, why do you just show any contacts? Well, because the contacts are unusual and are really they're kind of had in the galleries, but I never had it where I could show her a whole complete mood and how she was to deal with and how she was to work with. So that's really captured it because I could take so many individual images from these contacts and make edition prints that would grow in value because we do very limited edition. Very I limited edition. No, I don't want I'm everyone fine. to have it. I don't know if everyone out there knows what a contact is, what a contact sheet is. Well, basically, after we do the shooting for the climb in the old film days, remember film? Well, what we would do is we would um, take all the rolls of film in the black and white. In the black and white, we take the negative strips and we put them on. They make a contact sheet so we could select from each individual roll of film which image the client might want to use. And that's why on some of these, I even left it so you could see my thinking as well as the choices what I had to do. And you see them marked up. And that's what's kind of unique because like on a wall, if you make that a large print with the grease pencil markings and the feeling, because everything in art, photography, and these other things is how the model was working with the photographer, the photographer, what the photographer thought about. And by seeing a marked up contact print, you could really see what the photographer's selections were because that's what they suggested to the client to use that. So that's why, that, you know, that, and that's what a contact is. So this is- I, I love looking at your contact sheets because I knew Gia and I love looking at each photo and you can see how subtly she was moving and how you captured each shot that she was giving you. Another question, were you directing her or was well, she of course, just- yes. No, well, the thing is, and that's like with a, um, any model, when you're working with a model, or it's like you meet someone on the street for the first time, and you're just a stranger, forget about being a photographer, a model, whatever, and you're kind of not relaxed, you don't have a rapport and everything else. But once you develop a rapport, you understand each other, you know, per, in life itself, the personality of knowing this is what you do, this is how you work. And you know, and this is how you get along. So it really shows, it's like bare bones. It shows, you know, how we were working together, how we got along, how she expressed herself. I didn't tell her in some of these sheets, do this, do that, do that. She got into the mood, the feeling of it. And the rapport is natural. She felt relaxed and comfortable. And I did with her. And it was wonderful working with her like that. We're able to do, you know, we're able to just, feel each other in that way. And then I'm sure when she left there, the person she had the feelings for was you. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, but getting, <laughs> getting back to the work. Okay. I mean, Sorry. When, I, when I look at your photographs of Gia, she looks like you had the greatest rapport with her. You can see it in the pictures. She looks quiet. She looks... Although she doesn't look sexy, she still looks sexy. You know, there's still something well, there. Well, she I, did. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I love, for instance, Gia on the lifeguard chair, when uh, you'll see her looking very kind of sultry when she's sitting on top of the chair and Janice is on one side and Debbie's on the other. And then all of a sudden in the contact sheets where you have all the little photographs of Chia during that shoot, 
I saw one photo of Gia that stood out to me, and it was Butch Gia. <laughs> she had her hands well, that's up. when yes. her attitude came <laughs> out. When I had her on a lifeguard stand, I wanted to do it because she would look sexy. And Janice Dickinson was amazing, and oh, Debbie Dickinson, oh because they create a composition by working with their bodies and being yes. a part of it. And they all worked equally together. Yes. But of course, you know, the focus in the center was G with that. But then when we come down on the floor and try something else, it shows basically one contact sheet and one thing, but it's all part of the same shooting, is brings out the personalities and the things that make it special. And in my memories of these things, it's like I find that, you know, when the rhythm is there, it's like if everyone's had the experience. If somebody ever asked you to go out and dance with someone, you know, would you have this dance with me? You know, however they would phrase it. And you walk out on a dance, but you just don't feel the music. Right. And you have no rhythm. Right. But then other times, you really feel it. And there's a rapport and things just flow along. Yeah. And that's what was most important for me in my whole career with whoever I worked with. And some models like Gia, Janice Dickinson, Debbie Dickinson, and Avalonia, and just so I could name names and that they just flow along and it was really, really special. And Gia was one of those ones that it was really special and so was Janice Dickinson. And, Debbie I, Dickinson. and that's why I love working with them together and yeah. then on the other thing, well, you saw, you saw the pictures. A picture's worth a thousand words. Don't yep. quote me on that. <laughs> well, I, anyway, you had a great rapport with Gia. You can see it in the photos. I love the photos. I look at this picture. Would you like to buy one? <laughs> no, uh, yes, actually. <laughs> can I name my price? <laughs> yep, of course. I mean, the Yes, yeah, speak to Marie. The picture, the picture of Gia in the church. I mean, she looks like. Well, anyway, Janice Dickinson. Uh, None, right? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Janice Dickinson gave a quote about Gia. She said, "Gia Karanji, a true light angel, not a dark angel, as she has been depicted." And that's a quote in her book titled "No Lifeguard on Duty." And if Janice says it, you got to know that there's it's something. It's true, else. yeah. And Gia has been depicted as a dark angel or someone with a dark side. She had demons to fight. And I was wondering, did she bring that to work with her? I was wondering how well, oh, she it's... worked through that. During well, in certain situations, in certain times, now I'm getting into the early 80s because, tough, tough yes, years. yes, because there were times when she was showing up late or there was a certain kind of attitude in a different way that, you know, it wasn't her because I knew her well enough because I had an expanse of years and situations. So I, I knew and I had different situations that were. But I don't want to really talk about the negative parts of that because it wasn't under her control then. And that's the sad thing that people should look, know from that. And whatever she could do to help people going forward or young people or new models, because the situation with models, and I've always, it's always uh, thought of it because I've been doing this actually for 50 years now and I'm sure, like, you have also. Mm -hmm. And I've met these, I mean, I could name the biggest models that I've worked with or the smallest model, whatever. They come from small cities and villages from all over the world. They're thrown into a fast-paced life, of whether it's in, in Paris or New York or wherever they might be. And they're not used to it. And the interesting thing is because these girls and some of the guys in high school, because of their height and everything else, they led an inferiority complex and the way they have been brought up and, you know, they were feeling gawky. They were feeling not beautiful at that time. And then all of a sudden it changed and they go into this and they find themselves being um, bowed down to and spoiled yeah. and everything else. 
So, so the so, experience and and you, back. Robert, what, what I think is fascinating about your work in general and those images in particular is your capability to bring that grace that everybody has in themselves and, and bring them to pictures, right? You have this very painterly style. And I think that's what Sandy reacted to uh, when she saw your images for the first time. She was A, excited to discover images that have never been released and also being able to share with, with the group. And we have an amazing following going on. So thank you everyone for joining. Uh, but the, 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 the possibility of showing another side of Gia, and I think you spoke about the connection you had together, that sense of rhythm that you could have together and that's that's very powerful so i want to thank both of you thank you so so much for joining the the talk today um, the instagram live uh, i think we could stay forever and listen to and, your stories uh, i've we, spoken to and i want to hear more past. Spanish stories because thank you robert <laughs> yeah no, you, you guys are great i have one story I have one very story. very generous with our stories wait, wait. I have one more I want to yeah. hear this. Keep it going. Just one more. Okay. So one night, Gia and I were out partying all night long. I'm sure. I remember. The next day, <laughs> she was on the phone with her booker. Remember, they had bookers. Agents had bookers. So yeah. I even remember the booker's name, Kathy. She was on the phone with Kathy. And I was shocked that she was up and on the phone, very businesslike. And she said to me, Sandy, should I go to work today? And I said, oh, no, if you feel like me, don't go to work today. Oh, you're well, the one. No. I, I didn't know that the booking she had that day was with Abaddon, and it was a TV commercial, and they replaced her with Rosie Vella. So oh. those were the days, guys. Those were the days. No, I, I remember I remember those days, and I, I remember that it was like 11, 11.30. Where is she? Yeah. You know, but I'm not well, talking about Anyway, it was with you. It's a pleasure talking it's to you. It's your fault. Thank so, you. Yeah, so, you know, we had so many amazing comments. Uh, I'll share some of them with you uh, after the call, but... Uh, one that I, I that I thought was important to call out is that uh, Vanessa was sharing. She said historical moment, and I think that's what it is. You know, Sandy, you've been amazing at, you know, honoring Gia uh, and and making sure that her name is is well remembered, and you always shared your stories and more content, and you've been such an amazing ambassador of Gia and her life. So thank you again and, for always. And, and by the way, can I say? One last thing, and this might be a little self-serving, because I, I tried to show pictures, whether it's Gia or anyone else on my Instagram. And my Instagram used to be Robert Farber. They closed me down three times and said they're removing you forever from Instagram. Fuck them. I cut out the... the <laughs> and so because I'm starting over, I don't have as many followers as I have. So if you could go, now it's Rob... What am I at? Robert Farber photographer. I used to be Robert Farber. So if somebody would go support me on that or Facebook, I appreciate it. That's all I have to say. I just need some friends. Will do. <laughs> he needs followers. Follow yeah. Robert and Farber. We all do. And, we all and do. I, need, I need somebody to call Marie and say, you know, they like my pictures and they're interested in them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for everyone for joining. And thank you, Sandy. You're wonderful. All thank of the you. great thank comments. Thank you, both of you. Thank you, okay. Sandy. Thank you, Robert. So, okay. You'll save this, Marie? Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.